Hey designers, today we will prototype some functions of this Airbnb map. So here I have Airbnb open and I'll show you what we want to prototype. The first thing is this scrollable feature of a map that we want to replicate in Figma. And the second part would be that when I click on one element, it will show me a card below. And the last part would be that this draggable list that I could go up and then it would show me a list. So I prepared some designs so we could focus on the prototype itself. Here in this file, I first have a image of a map, which is just an image. I took a screenshot from Google Maps. So you have a big image that it should be bigger than the frame I would be using here. And I have some chips that I could click on. So each element, I made it with a component with some instances. Here I have the frame here with a menu. So we'll put that here and some reference images that we want to uh, see and use during the prototype. So first thing is that I would have this map here and I would put all the pins in a certain position, maybe in the middle. And what I'll do here is take all of this. So one big image of the map and some pins that I placed randomly. I'll take all this, select all of them and put it in this map frame. So if I put it inside here, so you can see that it is now hidden, right? But if I remove clip content from here, you could see that it's a much bigger image, but it's inside a smaller frame that would just fit under the design I have here. So I'll take that, place it here, drag it and put it inside the map prototype frame. Then what I want to do is make this scrollable. So not the outer frame, but this inside frame, which has the image inside here. So I'll rename it maybe map. So, you know, and I will go to prototype and make it horizontal and vertical scrolling that's enabled let's test it out by playing it okay now let's try it out i'm dragging left and right and you see that it is draggable like what we have in airbnb so the next function that we want in this prototype is that we want to open this card um so i will what i'll do is create another frame like so and place this card in the position I want to show. So it will be here. But one thing you need to be careful of is it should not be inside this map frame because it will move together, but just outside right below the outer frame. So now I would select maybe this $1,200 pin, and then I'll go to prototype, link it into the next frame here. So let's try that out with the frame here. So I will move and I know that this is clickable and see what happens. Okay, something went wrong, right? Because um, it showed the card but the position was a bit awkward. The problem is I need to preserve the scroll position while I go into the next screen and put it in a random position. Click on this and then, yeah, it shows what we want to do. The next part would be having this draggable element that comes up from the bottom. So look at the reference images. I would drag and then it would be placed up there for this one i think i would not do it in this prototype flow but create a new one so first thing i'll place this inside the prototype so it will come up like so let's see the, the order of that it should be actually under the menu so let's take the menu and put it on the highest part. So when I go like that, it goes under. 
So this is the position I want in the end. So I'll just make a copy of that and then take this to the starting position, maybe like here. So first I would make this part draggable. So I would link that by, so I'll link that here to the next frame. And then what I'll do is go into the details. I want it as on drag. And one thing that is very important is it should be smart animate. Because if you want a smooth transition by dragging this up and to this frame, you need to have smart animate on. That's why I made a copy of it with the same frame names. And let's test that out. If I drag, and then you see that it is dragged. The last thing I want to mention here is that why did I separate all these prototype parts? Yes, it's good to have one prototype that does everything, but it gets very complicated and you need more screens to do so. So always think about what you want to achieve with this prototype and just break it up into pieces. Hope you have loved this content. Please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.